Hey guys, welcome to Stuffbox. In this video, we are going to recreate this banner that I saw online. We are going to use Google Web Designer and see how easy it is. It has the right button and a left button. It also has a shop now and the text. So it's a simple one and I want to see if we can recreate it using Google Web Designer. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. So let's create a file, name your file name, let's use that size 300 by 250 and click OK. Let's first create the line on the side, let's change that to red. This is the hex number for a red and we'll draw the line all the way on top. Hold the shift key while drawing a line so it will create a straight line. And I'm going to duplicate it. And drag it to the bottom. I'm just going to straighten it on the container. Click transform control assign to container. Now it's in the middle. So now let's create the right side line. Pull the shift key and drag the line. Let's adjust the position a little bit to go to the right using arrow keys on your keyboard. There you go. Now we have the border. Now let's create the carousel. Go to components and put the carousel gallery. Drag it there. Let's make sure it's in the middle of the uh, container. Put a name on this layer and name it carousel01. Just to be neat, I'm gonna name these lines. So now let's put the images on that carousel. Click on that layer, edit the properties, click images and drag the photos onto the banner. I already have my three images here which are three scooters. Drag it to that circle and click OK. So now let's drag the logo. Easily drag it. Put it on top. And again, let's make sure it's in the middle. Let's name that logo. Double click here and let's say logo. Now let's create the button. Click on the drawing tool. Create the size that you want. Make sure it's in the middle of the container. Now let's add the text. It says shop now. Change the color font to white and type in shop now. Make sure it's in the middle again and make a few adjustments. I think the text is a bit bigger. Let's make it smaller. From 16, let's change it to 13. Middle again. That's looking really well. Now let's add the text that says shop this week's deal. It was green. We'll pick this green. and easy type your text. It 
So let's just do a quick preview of that banner again. We have the lines. We have the logo. We have the images. We have the button. And the text. Now we just need to create the right arrow and the left arrow. Go back to our project. We're going to use a text tool. And on the right side, press Control Command Space on your keyboard. It will give you all the um, different characters. There's the uh, right arrow there. So let's change that to black. Okay, and let's make that slightly bigger as well. More like double the size. Let's make some adjustments on the position. Make it look better. Okay, that's looking really well. Name that button, right button. Now let's do the left side. And then control command space. Let's pick this left arrow. Let's make a little bit of an adjustment. Okay, let's name this button left button. Now that we have all our layers, let's create some events on the buttons. So from the components, go to tap area and drag it on top of the button. Let's make some adjustments to only fit shop now. Now right click on tap area, add event. Tap area, Google ad, exit ad, put whatever metric ID you want and the website you want it to go to. Now let's put an event on the right button. So again, let's go to components and put a tap area. Let's adjust the top area. Right click on the top area, add event. Click on mouse, click, carousel gallery, and you want it to go forward. And click OK. Let's do the same thing on the left button. Let's put a top area there. Adjust the top area. Right click on it. Add event. Mouse. And do the same thing. This time, go backwards. That's pretty much it. Let's do a quick preview and see how it looks. Alright, that looks good. It goes forward. It goes backwards. That's good. And if we click shop now, it goes to the website that we want. And we'll do a quick comparison on how it looks. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope this helped you. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit like.